Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Techno Buffalo. A lot of people use Google, Bing, or Yahoo as their search engine of choice. And if you're a good searcher, you can probably find what you want within moments. Without having to go back and change your search query many times, you can usually find what you want quite quickly. There's another search engine out there that doesn't have that much market share, but it's a really powerful tool in finding information. It's called Wolfram Alpha. You've probably heard about it somewhere along the line, and we're going to talk a little bit about how you can use this to get some information that may be useful to you. So let's start with a basic example. Let's say we want to know the weather in New York City. Something, of course, that you can do with Google, but let's see the output. So it's going to think for a minute, and it's going to tell us the current temperature. That's easy enough. But it's also going to give us weather history and forecast. So we're going to see the last few days of temperature, the last few days of cloud cover, conditions from the last few days, historical temperature data, really very specific stuff. But let's get even more specific. Let's say we want the weather in New York City on a very specific day. Let's say April 2nd in the year 1981, going all the way back. This is great for research projects. OK, so it's thinking. And here's the weather. On that period, we even get a daily trend of temperature. In addition, we can see the daily breakdown of cloud cover back many, many years ago in this year. Very useful. If we type another city, we can compare the weather in New York City and, say, Philadelphia on this day in 1981. And so it's thinking. And now we get side-by-side -side comparisons and graphs that compare these two regions showing the cloud cover and the conditions and the precipitation. Very interesting. Let's do another search. Let's say we want to look at what 499 British pounds is equal to. Well, from Alpha knows that I am from the US, so it immediately converts it into US dollars. It shows an ex the exchange rate for the last year, although we can change this to the last 10 years to see how the UK, uh, UK pound and the US dollar has uh, traded together. We can also see what this equals in euros and in other forms of currency. Let's do something else. Let's say we're having breakfast and we want to know the nutritional facts of some whole milk, a banana, and cereal. So it's thinking. OK, and it gives us the nutritional facts of all three of these things that we typed in. Very interesting. But we want to see what it's like to put all of this together, see the total calories of all of these things. So we click Total Nutritional Facts. It thinks for a minute. And it tells us with all of those things, with one cup of milk, one banana, and 30 grams of cereal, which is the average serving size for cereal, we're at 359 calories and 9.4 grams of fat. Pretty cool and pretty useful. And you can do this with really any kind of food that is common. And it breaks it down towards the bottom here. OK, let's try something else. Let's get the GDP, information about the GDP of, say, uh, of France. OK, here's the result. And we get a graph showing us back to the 70s. And we can change the kind of scale we have from a logarithmic to a linear scale. And we get a lot more information about inflation rate and unemployment rate and things like that. Very useful stuff. Let's do something else. Let's say the age of Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton is 63 years old, 2 months and 13 days old. Let's do something else. Let's, let's say we want to know how many days it's been since the date, uh, let's say, March 3rd. Um, Let's say you're born in 1982, and you want to know how many days it's been. Who knows why you want to know this? Maybe you're making a family tree. And you could see that it's been 27 years, 7 months, and 29 days. And from here, you can actually copy it. Speaking of doing a family tree research project, let's say you want to sort of visualize what it would look like in a family tree if somebody's referring to your great aunt. So you type great aunt, and it shows you a little family tree. So beyond what I've shown you here, this search engine can do a lot more, especially in the fields of chemistry, biology, mathematics, physics, finance. Uh, if you're curious to what it can do and what it's really capable of, go to wolframalpha.com, and you'll see a button here for a video intro and also a one-page summary that will really drill down and show you the true capabilities of this really incredible search engine that's quite useful in a lot of situations. That's it for now.